Most of you have watched me for a while and you know that in August, I lost my best friend to breast cancer. Here's the thing, folks. We spend the entire month of October discussing breast cancer. We raise money for breast cancer. We pray over women. We do research about women. And the whole time, there was a link to a couple of different things that are causing breast cancer. They are pushing your chance your daughter's chance, your granddaughter's chance for breast cancer through the roof. And because of political ideology, it has been hidden from American women. Other countries know about it. Other countries openly discuss it. But in Australia and in America, we're told, no, mm -mm, even the National Institute of Cancer lied about it. The links I'm talking about. Now I know I'm being ambiguous for a reason. I'm going live in about two to three hours and I'm going to deep dive for as long as you guys want to hear it. The truth about breast cancer. You're welcome to come with me on my, on my journey. Let me tell you why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this over religious reasons or political reasons. I'm doing it because I lost a woman that I loved with all my heart to a horrific disease. Had she known the truth years ago, maybe it wouldn't have killed her. I'm just saying, maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe she could have made a decision to have mammograms done early in her life, knowing that she is now at a much higher risk of developing breast cancer. Because here's one, I'll give you one. Are you aware that birth control, birth control, oral contraceptives, OCs, are now listed as carcinogenics, a number one carcinogenic. Did you know that? See, I didn't know that. I have daughters. I have fertile daughters who were given oral contraceptives, one for acne and one for severe cramping at a young age. But nobody told me that the gynecologist and the doctor and the dermatologist that prescribed oral contraceptives to my daughters never once said, oh, by the way, by the way, these have been linked to cancer, <laughs> breast cancer especially, you know. So do you really want to, to be, is this your, the best medication for your young daughters? Would you like to make that decision as a family? No, no, in America, we're told birth control is completely safe. It's, it is, it is safe, ladies. There's nothing to see here. Don't listen to the lady in pink. Don't listen to her. Maybe, maybe she's all about pro-life and she's just lying to you. So you'll go out there and make babies because she's a conservative. I'm sorry. Having put my young daughters on oral contraceptives for different reasons, what I found out last night, I would have never consented. My ex-husband would have never consented had the doctor walked in and said, Hey, just to let you know, these are now considered level one carcinogenics. Would you like to give them to your underage daughters? Because taking them before a certain age increases their breast cancer chances by like 20%. Now, my daughter's fraternal great-grandmother had breast cancer. So they already have a little higher risk genetically. You know what we just said? We just said, no, <laughs> no, thanks. We'll figure it out. We will figure this out another way. Funny, for a country, all these feminists running around, all these do-gooders and women's rights, and it's our body, our choice. Did you know that? 
Because see, I really don't feel like in America, it's our body, our choice. I feel like in America, it's our body is a political playground. Maybe that's going to offend some people. I don't really care. I've lost someone so close to me to breast cancer. And now I find out that I willingly, and my ex-husband willingly, gave our daughters carcinogenics without realizing, thinking we were helping them. Huh. It's a bit hard to swallow. I'm just saying, if you would like to hear what I have found so that you can make real decisions about your body and your choices and the choices you'd like to see for your daughters and granddaughters, nieces, if you'd like to know if you need to start screenings for breast cancer in your 20s because you've accidentally raised your chances for breast cancer, then meet me on the live. It's not about right and wrong. It's not about political ideology or even religious decisions. It's about your body and how they have lied and hidden the truth so they can make money off of us. We're like walking money cows in America. I'm a little frustrated. I was very, I spent hours digging into this last night. I have no doubt YouTube will refuse to pay me. It'll be a miracle if they'll let the video stay up today when we go live. But you know what? It's not about money. It's about truth. So I invite you to come live. Just put the notifications on so you can be there today. And if you miss it, no big deal. Go to my homepage, Starkey Formstead. It'll say, go to the homepage. It'll be videos, shorts, you guys scoot it over a little, especially if you're doing it on a phone, it'll say lives. Click on lives and every time I've ever gone live will pop up and you can just watch the video later. Love you guys.